Hey guys, Zach here from Retinal Abuse. Last month I did a video with my friend Jason Giaffo over at Giaffo Designs about a strategy I like to use when I'm programming with colors in the MA. If you haven't seen the video yet, the link is in the description below. Go check it out and go check all of Jason's content out. He's a phenomenal programmer. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I've got videos coming out every week about the MA2, WYSIWYG, and other topics related to stage and concert lighting. Drop a comment below and let me know what you'd like to see me talk about over the next few weeks and get subscribed so you can see new videos out every single week. All right, let's dive into MA and I can show you what this is all about. Okay guys, so we're in MA, we've got WYSIWYG open. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna show you the result. I'm gonna show you what the strategy can do when you're programming your colors. And then we'll go step-by-step step through it and I'll show you how we do it. So you can see I've got a basic cue list open here. It's nothing fancy, it's just to show you guys what you can do with this. You can see we've got different things happening all across the board. We've got color changes, we've got color effects happening. And the idea is to very quickly go at once from this to this, to this, to this, to this, to this, to anything you want without having to make destructive changes to your programming. So obviously we're looking at a macro here. These are you know, fairly simple macros at the end of the day. The idea here is I'm not programming from here. I'm not programming from these basic colors. I just kind of use them as color storage. What I'm doing is copying data from this color storage area into a different bank of color presets. And this is where my programming is happening. So when I'm programming you know, spots at whatever color I want, I'm actually pulling it from here. And we'll show you really quick how you can make those changes. So I'm gonna open up this one here. You can see how it works. It says warm demo. That is the whole macro. So all we're doing is copying preset 4.2 at 16, overriding. Copying 4.3 at 17, overriding. 4.4 at 18, overriding. And so on down the line. I have another macro here that's for labeling the colors. Uh, that's really just for organization sake so that I can see that it's not changing so I don't see like red number two You know magenta number 16 as the shows go on and on and on So all we're doing for this demo is copying this color to this color here to here here to here 14 at 19 and 1 at 20 overriding it all so you don't get a pop-up window and then that's it because the programmer not even the programmer excuse me because the cue list is referencing data from these banks of presets we can copy any data we want into them in real time the cue list is going to update because that's where the data is that it's looking for so let's take another look at the cool demo we're going to look at this version of it just to see a different way to do it you can see that instead of saying 4.10 at 4.1 we're calling it color one color two color three color four color five that's great for if you want to just to make it visually simple for you so you're not having to think about where the numbers are. For me personally, once I've set this, I don't look at it again, so I don't need to see the reference to the label. In this case, if you're doing this, you're going to have to run this label macros or a label colors macro. And I can show you that real fast. It's really simple. It's just a bunch of label, label moves happening all at once for the things that we're using this for. And you saw there was a ton of stuff on there. And it's because, you know, this is, to, this is to show you the simple version. So this is an easy way for you to do it for yourself. But if you want to go big, you're going to open this guy here. It says cool. And you can see we're copying a lot of data to a lot of different places. So you're, we're copying it, you know, we're copying preset data at the presets we've talked about. 16 through 20 is where our main color one, go, our main colors come from. But you can see we're going to a bunch of different places and all these places are up here. I've got different sets of five presets laid out so that, you know, I can see them pretty easy and all they are are just variations on that theme. So it's just a different order for each color scheme. So you can see when I click on warm here, I'm still talking about red, orange, yellow, CTO and white. They're just in different order in different places in that scheme. So running these macros here if you look at the screen you can see i'm using the same colors but just different variations of it and these macros are very very simple all we're doing is copying preset 32 to 36 at 16 through 20 and running the labels again so all we're doing is copying data from here over to here and then labeling it so you can see that this is a really easy way to make huge changes even subtle ones if you wanted to you know if you wanted to run these and one thing you can do that makes it can make your life really easy let's say we're in here and we want to run a macro so let's run macro 
color flip. I know you guys can't see this, so I'm going to pull this aside up here. So you can say we're just running macro color flip on the second queue of this little list here. And as I go into it, it's going to automatically run this macro for color flip and send us over here. And then say, we're going to run another macro. I'll bring this up to you. Call it macro color restore, which is just a repeat of the original color pattern so that I can get it back. So it's, we're not just dealing with the flips and variations. So now when we go through, it's changing back for us. And it's an easy way to do it in the command line for your cues so that you can make, again, you know, so these are more subtle changes. If you just need to, you know, if, if you want to keep the same colors, but it's a different feel for the for this next section of a song or whatever, and you just need to make changes, it's nice and easy, and you don't have to do any destructive changes to your programming. And of course, because we're referencing, we're referencing preset data, I can change this. And if I run the same cue stack, that color flip works with the color scheme we've chosen. So you can also see that I've got some color effects going on here. If I open this color effect, you can see here that I'm referencing color two and color three as my low and high values. These colors, or these effects for colors, are referencing, again, colors in this set of color presets. So that way, everything references these. So these are your home base for everything you're gonna do in terms of color. It's a really quick way of keeping everything together so you don't get lost in, oh goodness, that effect, you know, that effect referenced a hard value, not even a hard value, went one level deeper than a hard value, so it's like, you know, you you were programming it and you thought it was cool and you put in this color effect and you just clicked in your main pool that it's red and orange and great except your artist wants to have it in this blue and purple theme well what are you going to do you're going to go back and you're going to have to edit every effect you have on the song just to make sure it works now you could do that but you know you want to save as much time as possible when you're in the middle of a show or when you're in a programming session because time is money so if you program off of a color like this where you're pulling data into a place where you can program from, it saves you a ton of time in your programming sessions. It saves you a ton of time uh, during sound check and before your shows. And it's a great way to make really big changes on the fly without having to do any destructive changes to your cue lists. And that's it guys. If you enjoyed what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button and get subscribed so you can see new videos coming out every single week. Thank you so much for watching guys and happy programming.